Hello friends, this is Teacher JB. Uh, we are studying 41 basic English grammar rules. And today we are going to study reported speech. Reported speech. Reported speech is used when you want to tell someone else what a person said before. The tense in reported speech is one tense back in time from the tense in direct speech. I go shopping every Friday, my mom said. My mom said that, that is usually omitted. She went. I go, she went shopping every Friday. We are watching TV. They told me, they told me that they were watching TV. I have lived here for 10 years, David said. David said that he had lived and here becomes there for 10 years. I was at school yesterday, my sister said. My sister said that she had been. So was becomes past perfect had been at school the day before. Yesterday becomes the day before. We were cooking when she came. They told me, they told me that they had been cooking. They had been cooking when they had come. I had had a car accident, Mary told me. Mary told me that she had had a car accident. This past perfect becomes past perfect. I have been explaining to her for hours, Jim said. Jim said that he had been explaining. So present perfect uh, progressive becomes past perfect progressive. I will travel to Asia next year, my cousin told me. My cousin told me that she would. Will travel becomes would travel uh, to Asia the following year. I'm going to write a story, Sarah said. Sarah said that she was going to, so I am going to become, she was going to write a story. I'll be coming back in an hour. Michael told me that he would be coming back in an hour. I may see you in the afternoon, Jane said. Jane said that she might see me in the afternoon. Jim might visit me tomorrow. My visit becomes my visit. So my sister said that Jim might visit her the following day. So tomorrow becomes the following day. You must make your final decision uh, by to, uh, 20th May. And she said that I had to make my final decision by 20th May. We shall need your help, they told me. Shall need becomes would need. They told me they would need my help. You can wait for me in the office, my boss said. My boss said that I could wait for him in the office. We could finish everything soon, my husband told me. My husband told me that he could finish everything soon. You should go to, her, uh, to bed early, my mom said. My mom said I should go to bed early. I would teach you how to make cookies, my mom said. My mom said she would teach me uh, how to make cookies. You need to drink more water a day, my doctor told me. My doctor told me that I needed to drink more water a day. Now let's think about the change of place, time words, and demonstratives. So time, direct speech, today, becomes that day. Yesterday, the day before. Tomorrow, the next day or the following day. Days ago becomes days before. Last week, the week before. Next week, the following week, the week after. Now, then. Place here, there. This, that, this, those. And then reported questions. There are two types of questions, WH questions and yes, no questions. In yes, uh, WH questions, WH words just what, where, why, how, etc. remains the same. Where do you go? She asked. She asked me where I went. What have you done? He asked. He asked me what I had done. Why are you crying? She asked. She asked me why I was crying. 
Now, yes, no question. Are you going shopping? Jenny asked. Jenny asked if or whether I was going shopping. Have you ever been to London? He asked. He asked me if or whether I had ever been to London. Can you help me with this homework? Tom asked. Tom asked me if whether I could help him with that homework. Now, report the comments and request. Direct speech says, go away. She said, she asked me to go away. Don't come any closer, he said. He asked me not to come any closer. Jeff, wait for a second, he said. He asked Jeff to wait for a second. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I'll come back to you with another uh, topic as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.